Hello everyone, welcome back. We're here with... <laughs> we're here with Bella again. We're gonna like... be... <laughs> Silence. Is we are going to be me? opening the November Accio box. As usual, I don't know what the theme is. I don't keep up with these things. So. This time, you didn't already cut the tape and you didn't already open this box. <laughs> yes, this is a brand new box, okay? Just cut the tape. Okay, ready? Oh, maybe we should do it like oh, this. Maybe, yeah. Maybe just and open. Black paper. Wow. <laughs> I think it's black because I don't have a box. So, so first item is a box. Is a box. Oh, Ooh, show the packaging. It says Accio exclusive. Hold and then on. the other side. Okay. What does that say on the other I side? I didn't read it. Self-correcting ink. Ooh. This might be something I need to steal. <clears throat> yeah, it might be ink for like a like writing. I could not open that. Oh, that's Ooh. cool. Oh, that looks so cute on a desk. Can we for Click it to focus? It. It's a self-correcting ink. Yes. That is like so a cute. Is there anything in it? There can't no, be anything. It just looks cool. <laughs> no, it just looks cool inside. That is really cool. Is that a pin? That's a pin. Belongs to me now. Okay, open it and then I don't show it. So there's a pin. I, I feel like there, there's typically always a pin. That really hurt. What does it say, darling? It says The Invisible Book of Invisibility by Jay Griffin. Ooh. That's not. Oh, I thought that wasn't going to focus, honestly. Oh, cool. Let me see it. Belongs to me, too. Invisible Book of Invisibility. The the whole pin is see-through, so if you take the backing off, it's completely see-through. What are those? Let me see. You gotta show them. I wanted them. The brown socks. Oh my god, it's the Monster, Monster Book of Monsters. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I'm putting my hand in it. So oh, perfect. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks weird. That looks these will look really funny on the feet. But I these are them. so cute. I, I they I match your them. outfit right now because you're wearing brown. I am wearing brown. You should put them on right now. I will. <laughs> I will. Those are adorable. Okay, so I gotta put the socks on. If we're talking about self-correcting ink, we have an invisible book of invisibility, and we have the monster book of monsters. This sounds like it's some type of like stationary book, book theme. library theme, which I very much enjoy. Ooh, I like it. Bella's got the sock on. I got one sock on, but <gasps> what is it? What is it? <gasps> it's mine. Okay, so this oh, is, this could probably be a bookmark. So this is like, um... Like when you go to a library, you check out a book and then you write your name on it. So this is a restricted section. I got the sock on. Book thing. So it has everyone's name on it. And when they rented the book, what book is this for? Title, Most book Potent book. Potions. This? And then they got a bunch oh, Harry of got this stickers. One. Harry's Man, on that. Harry got it and then Hermione got oh, it. Oh, Lupin's on it. Harry got it. <gasps> Lily Evans is on it. Oh my god, that breaks my heart. That's Why? Harry's mom. Severus Snape. Oh okay, my god, I'm Tom Riddle sock is sock. on this too. I cannot get them on right right now. Severus's mom is on here too. It's purple. This actually, the, the last few shirts we Professor printed, Slughorn was the first person to rent this book in 1914. And then the last person to read it was in 1997. Which is who? Hermione. Hermione Granger! Hold on. Okay, so then we got these little stickers that say from the restricted section. They're also mine. That you could put mm. in your books. That's very cute. This is all like library themed and I love Ooh. it. I'm, I don't care what, what, does what this say? shirt I can't. It's a purple shirt. <gasps> Flourish and Blots shirt. It's purple with the Flourish and Blots symbol. And it says, book launch event and author sign. Magical me. Oh my god. Why are you being weird? I don't know. I'm dancing. Okay, so that is everything in the box. So this is called 
magical books. Anyone oh. else wish they could just wander the aisles of magical bookstores for a while? I do. Or stock up on quills and parchment, or even sit in the library during free periods. What about checking out a book from the library and finding a quiet spot in the castle to read it? That sounds like an absolute dream. Maybe catch a whiff of parchment in your love potion. Since that's not quite reality, here's a box full of items from the from the bookish side of magical of the magical world. Oh my gosh. Bookish side of the magical world? Yes. Beautiful. I love it. So first thing was the magical bookshop shirt. Um and then we have I tried to add the prices, but Oh gotcha. I can't do that in my head right now. So self-correcting ink. It says it might be banned from exam rooms, but this self-correcting ink bottle replica looks great on desks and bookshelves. Use it as a pen holder or simply decoration and bring a bit of magic into your workspace without the mess of real ink. Love that, because obviously we don't really use real ink like that anymore. I'm tempted to bring this into my classroom. Restricted section <laughs> book plate label set. These ones? Yeah, so it says whether you lend your books uh, lend out your books from your own library or keep them under lock and key. Use these foiled book plate labels to make sure everyone knows where your books belong. There you go. I like that. I don't actually lend out my books. It's kind of a mean thing to do, but I do not trust people to borrow my books. I don't trust anyone. But there's kids in my class who've lent books to me, but I don't lend books to I mean, if, I, if someone lent me a book, I would take pristine care of it because I'm very much like that, but like, like other people I would... don't care. I feel like there's people that would ask to, for my book, and it's like awkward to say no if they ask to borrow a book from you. I know. I've had like family members ask, like, oh, you really like that book? Okay, maybe I'll just borrow it. And I'm like, here's the thing. <laughs> I can't do that. I'm so horrible. No, but well, if just... you, oh, sorry, I'm already lending it out to another friend. No, I should just start lying so I seem nicer. <laughs> sorry, I'm lending it out to another friend. Okay, Monster Book of Monster Socks. Keep your toes cozy with these Accio Box exclusive Monster Book of Monster Socks. They won't bite. They might bite. And then Invisible Book of Invisibility. An entire order of an actual book might have gone missing after they've been after being delivered, but this but this invisible book of invisibility enamel pin is here. That's like kind of hard to say. Invisible book of invisibility. Say that ten times. What? Don't actually say it. <laughs> invisible book of invisibility. Invisible book of invisibility. What you're holding? That's a really cute pin, actually. I genuinely like that. And then, okay, here's an excuse to. Here's an excuse to put the book down for a little while and mark your place with this custom library book checkout card bookmark featuring famous names as prior uh, readers. Fascinating, isn't it, to see who read the book before you? Designed by Cherry. Cherry Chicks from Accio Box. Okay, that was opening the November Accio Box. What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> that might be all this video is because I didn't vlog this week. So you're welcome. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, Bella, for joining us this time. And we'll see you again in December for the next one. Bye! I can't do that. <laughs> Thanks for still. watching. Bye! <laughs> I still can't do that from when we made this slime like three years I ago. I think you could do it. You're not trying. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>